to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten's Trash or Treasure. Before we get started, what are we drinking? Today we are drinking Lords of Death Hopped Rice Lager. They know your name. Today we're going to bring to you 1988's Edge of the Axe. As mentioned in our previous episode, we haven't seen this in ages. Yeah, it's been a so long time. We thought we'd revisit the movie and see if we remember it the way we thought we did and if it's any good or not. <laughs> so let's find out. This movie is directed by Jose Ramon Larraz. It stars Barton Falks is in this as our main lead. Jack Taylor has actually been in lots of stuff. Yeah. He was in pieces that we covered, as well as The Ninth Gate with Johnny Deep. <laughs> so the movie starts off with this woman who's driving into this giant fucking car wash. This old school car yeah. wash. The big... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's all smoking inside the car. <laughs> he can't even roll up the window if he wanted to to let the smoke out. That's <laughs> how they did it in 88. Yeah. While the car's going through this car wash, all of a sudden there's this masked figure in this sort of plain white mask. It throws this axe right through the windshield. Yeah. Just puts it right through. Hands over and it shows like the symbol of like the medical symbol yeah on the window right yeah. which is some kind of clue B I guess. big clue <laughs> huge clue it cuts to gerald who's riding his motorcycle and he's moving into this new cabin this huge cabin is like hexagon yes cabin. <laughs> some new age thing <laughs> He gets the internet set up, too. <laughs> With his new computer. <laughs> his new age stuff, right? His friend ends up being an exterminator. Gerald ends up coming along with his friend yeah. to this bar where this guy has been smelling this weird <laughs> rotten smell. Rotten 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 smell. <laughs> what are you keeping around here? What do you use this area for? Which guys? is storage. Is storage. It's like, storage for what? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> end up finding a corpse the corpse ends up coming down and it's been sitting there for like weeks or yeah. it's all rotten the cops come by and they start investigating and they they find out that this is one of a string of murders that's been happening that's been going on they're also not doing much either on top of it they're yeah. kind of shitty <laughs> they're not doing any investigating besides going to the crime seeing the crime and then, and, going, and then going, and then going back, then going home. <laughs> so Gerald and his buddy, they go to the bar, and she all brings out like beers for to them. them in the glass. <laughs> yeah, like, like <laughs> while they're sitting in, in the, the car. car. Like, what the hell kind of bar is this? I don't know, but I want to go there, <laughs> drinking in the car. And he ends up meeting this girl, Lillian. Playing the arcade, of course, yeah. it's the 80s. <laughs> exactly. So Gerald befriends Lillian, who works at the bar, and takes her back to his weird octagon <laughs> lodge. So they get to know each other and tells him that, you know, she's had some mental illness in her family, and she actually accidentally injured her cousin once by pushing him on a swing and pushed him too hard and he fell off the swing yeah. and busted his head open and then he had to go to a mental institution. In the meantime, these axe murders keep happening. Women keep being killed off. <laughs> Lillian is on Gerald's computer. She suspects something, right? And she's kind of looking in and she sees a list of all these people on his computer and they're the people who have been murdered but they're all kind of tied back to her cousin who was at that mental institution. Right. They're all psychiatrists or nurses or whatever that worked at this mental institution at some point. In the meantime, Gerald is also suspicious of Lillian about maybe being the murderer. That's right. And that's where we're going to end the plot. Now let's figure out if it's trash or treasure. All right, let's start with the trash. <laughs> Top of the list, acting. It is quite bad. Even the main characters, Gerald and his body, they're okay. They're just okay. It's like, man, I'm not buying it. Yeah. I'm, I don't believe any of this yeah. shit, right? But the other characters are atrocious. <laughs> There's that cop guy with the mustache who's always kind of in the background. Yeah. You can see he's all like, la he's all smiling, waiting <laughs> for his lines to be delivered. Civil War <laughs> train guy. <laughs> train conductor guy. Like, <laughs> like, where'd you get these people? 
people from? Did you just be like, hey, you, you, are you free for a couple of seconds? <laughs> yeah, come here. They went to like the We're local. making a movie now. They went to the local homeless yeah. shelter or something and got like a bunch of bombs. Got that Civil War guy's all forgetting his lines. Yeah, you, can, you can see clearly where he's like. You see, yeah, he's supposed to say something, then he stops, and then he just. <laughs> <laughs> they keep going. Well, you couldn't do a different take. You couldn't do it again. <laughs> According to the driver of the train, this train did not run over anything. You can tell that the intentions are there to be yeah. kind of original and kind of interesting and, and smart, but it's way too convoluted. <laughs> it's like makes no sense. Like every time a kill happens, you're like. Yeah, but what the fuck does this yeah. have to do with anything? What do, what does this person have to do with the story? Yeah. Why? Why is this happening? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, what's like, going on? It's all that what do computers have to do with it? Yeah, and... like, and it's all that early computer yeah. shit, too. Like, like, connected to the mainframe yeah. and all that early internet yeah. shit. <laughs> it's like, what does that... All that's doing is muddling everything. <laughs> And the computer's all talking back to them. Like, I never had a computer that talked to me, like, especially not in 1988. So this guy lives in the fucking woods in this lodge. In 1988, and is able to get the internet. Yeah, yeah. In 1988, and get access to all these government yeah. files. These, these He's all hacking files. in. Like, yeah, right. Come on. You can barely do that now, let alone in 88, out in the woods. The pacing for this movie is pretty piss poor. It starts off good, right off the bat with that good kill, you're like, yeah. okay, yeah! And then it just sinks, oh. but then it doesn't come back up for a long, long time. Like, yeah. okay, it's understandable, it gets into a bit of character development with the main character. Which goes nowhere. Yeah, which kind of goes nowhere. And then meeting his friends, and meeting, like, townspeople and everything. <laughs> okay, get somewhere with it. It goes nowhere, and it's all useless. Yeah. Finally start telling you why everything's happening, and giving you finally clues it's like well, yeah. i don't care anymore <laughs> exactly. like, the movie's done yeah throw you all these red herrings for like who is the killer because yeah. it's kind of a whodunit number one it's way too many <laughs> yeah. usually most whodunits is like the first kind of beginning of the movie they can lay it out here's your characters who could be the killer 20 minutes left in the movie and it's still like oh here's some more people yeah. who it could be like, <laughs> like what what is this <laughs> then they have to yeah. explain yeah. that though too and it's too late you're like well fuck it's like i don't care it's like they're trying way too hard like i, yeah. I appreciate the effort but it's like just dumb it down a bit. Like, you don't need to be so convoluted. Yeah, and it's it's structured all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so this brings us to the treasure. What is good about Edge of the Axe? <laughs> the music, yeah. I thought was really good. The incidental soundtrack music is really good. It's like 80s and synth heavy and it Yes. It's yeah. really like rhythmic and driving and like oh, I thought that was really good. The effects are actually really, really good for this movie. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's bloody, it's gory. Yep. And the kills are really good too. Fingers cut off. <laughs> it's all reaching for the shotgun shells. <laughs> yeah, just, that <laughs> hatchet too. <laughs> like, it looks good. You're like, oh some of the kills themselves are brutal, like when he kills that prostitute and mm -hmm. he's got the axe and just yeah, he's head. fucking giving her too. And it, 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 there's no cutting away. It just shows it. Yeah. And it's like, whoa. The killer is actually kind of cool. In this yeah, movie. his look is good. Like even though yeah. it's kind of like a Michael Myers ripoff, but sort of. You can't, you know, it's a white mask. You can't call every white mask a Michael Myers ripoff because there's so many white masks. It's actually a more featureless than the one in Halloween Four. That's even a little more scary. It's got no mouth. It's got nothing yeah. except eye holes. Yeah. And so that's that's actually really creepy. And wearing that kind of raincoat thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the hood on, sometimes the hood off. Right, and like the mask is such a contrast to like the background usually. The settings and the lighting in this movie is actually really good. It's like a good looking movie. Yeah. You can tell it's kind of inspired by the whole Italian giallo style. We first watched this on VHS and it kind of like 
It's a little dull. It's grainy and dull, but you, when you watch like the actual like Blu-ray proper transfer from the original negative, it looks fucking great. I think it's yeah. a really good looking movie. The kills, like the chase scenes when he kills that, that prostitute outside the bar. Yeah, yeah. Like the, around that, that rail yard and all that. Like that's a wicked scene. It is a really good scene, yeah. You know, and then like the farmhouse and like all the kill, all through the, the chasing through those pigs and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like the, 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 they're all really laid out well and well thought out. So, Edge of the Axe, after reviewing it all these years later, <laughs> after finally seeing it again, after on the VHS days. I'm gonna rate this one trash. Yeah? Yeah. I am actually gonna differ from you on this one and I think it's a bit of a treasure. Ooh. The reason being is because I just, I had a lot of fun watching it. I laughed for the wrong reasons I was laughing yeah. at it, but I still had a good time watching it. I didn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I I enjoyed the kills and I enjoyed the, the atmosphere and the lighting. Yeah. But the acting and the dialogue is what put it over the top yeah. for me. Probably something I'd watch again just for shits. Yeah. See, I probably wouldn't. Okay. Well, there you go. Well, there you go. We actually disagree on this one, which is fine. That's what it's all about. But until next time, keep drinking. <laughs> <laughs>